probably the most important logarithmic function is the natural log function, which is, well, I mean, the common log is also an important one. But as I was saying in a couple videos ago when I was talking about e to the x, a very important exponential function, the natural log function is the logarithmic function base e. And if you wanted to know, well, what's the definition, it would be consistent with the, um, uh, it would be consistent with the previous definition above, but the ln of x uh, is defined to be log base e of x, or loge as I've heard some students call it, but don't call it that because that sounds silly. Um, how I often write it in, in when, when I do my notes, and you'll see this uh, frequently, is I often write it as capital ln because lowercase l and n is a very commonly used variable in mathematics and l looks a lot like one so i don't really like lowercase ln which is why i just write it as capitalized um just that's just a me thing most people don't do this but i you know i i for me i've done it for so long that i'm it's, it's a habit um and i'm never going to change so you don't have to write it capitalized because most people don't um but you know just just for the record um i think maybe one of my professors did this you know, back in the day, and that's probably why I do it. I don't, I don't even remember actually, but that is the case. And anyways, again, if you're wondering, well, what does this mean? Well, again, it would mean e to what power is x? It is the inverse of e to the x function. And it would tell me, well, e to what power would make the input? Um, so let's say I wanted to know, well, what's the ln of e? Well, in this case, this would be equivalent to log base e. So again, it's like you could write, you could pretend that there's a base e right in there. And of course, e to the e, when it's a match in the base, it's always going to be one because e to the first power makes e. Uh, and of course, I could use my calculator, just use the ln function right there, ln of e is going to be one. Uh, and because uh, another important property is, well, when you have the ln of e to the x, just like we had for log base a of x when it was a match of the bases, basically ln, again, no, no pun intended with basically, but basically ln and e will cancel each other out and it will leave me with just x. Because again, what I'd be thinking about is e to what power makes e to the x. And of course, the answer to that question would be x. But sometimes, since e is an irrationally based number, say I wanted to know, well, e to what power is going to make 7? Um, like most of the time the, the answer to this is going to be very complicated and that's again one of the reasons why having a calculator is so helpful here if I want to know well e to what power makes 7 I could just take the natural log of 7 in my calculator and it would tell me well that's approximately 1.95 and it helps me to figure out and solve an exponential equation again logarithmic functions are important because they help us to solve the missing link between an exponential, kind of like how a square root can help me solve a square, a log can help me solve an e, or you know, an ln will help me solve an e, whereas log base two will help me solve two to the x. And uh, in class this week, we'll talk a lot about solving equations. Uh, we're gonna get at that issue um, more later. But also um, note that logarithmic functions, if you're plugging in negatives or, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and change my calculator back to real mode because if I'm in complex mode, technically there is a way of solving this uh, using much more advanced math than we're gonna cover in this class. Um, but if I wanted to know what's the natural log of negative three, it's kind of it's very similar to the square root of negative three. When, when you're trying to take a logarithm of a negative, there's not gonna be a real solution because if I was to think about what this would imply, it would be e to what power makes negative three. But when we, were talk when we talked about exponential functions in the last few videos, we, I mentioned that, well, exponentials can never make negatives because this just means a repeated multiplication. If you're multiplying by a positive number, it's never gonna be negative. Um, and same goes for zero, but basically what we, what we end up with is not a real number, not real. And there is technically a way to solve this, but we're not gonna cover that. Um, and same thing for ln of zero. Like if you were to take the log of a zero, <clears throat> you're always gonna get a domain error um, and again, this is kind of going back to, well, exponentials. And in the next video, uh, I wanted to talk about graphs of logs, domain range, and all that stuff. Uh, but, you know, so we'll revisit this soon.